Hi guys, thanks for joining me today. If you want to know how I made these easy, fun Halloween cookies, then keep watching. Everything I used in this video, I will list it in the video. If you have any questions, just let, let me know. Get your pencil, get your paper ready if you want to take down this recipe. It's fun, it's easy, they're delicious. And uh, yeah, so keep watching. Hi guys, thanks for joining me today. So today I'm going to show you how I make my very quick, easy, super delicious, super homemade tasting sugar cookies. So today I'm not going to be using a homemade recipe. I'll show you that in another video. I'm going to be using the Pillsbury sugar cookie dough. I really like this. This tastes very good. It tastes close to homemade in my opinion. I'm just going to dust my baking board with a little bit of flour so that the cookie dough won't stick. So you want to do that. It'll help a lot. And now I'm going to squeeze the, now I'm going to just squeeze the dough out of the package. You can cut your cookies if you want to. You can make them as thick as that. You can make them thicker or thinner. I usually don't like them very thick, so I won't be cutting them thick today. I'm going to be using this silicone baking mat. This is by Technique. I got this from QVC. This works extremely well for baking, and I use this to make my cupcakes. I use this for a lot of things. I just use this for a lot of baking. So I'm going to place the silicone mat inside this cooking sheet here. And I'm going to space them about two inches apart. The silicone mat really just prevents cookies or cupcakes from sticking. So that's, you know, that'll help a lot. It'll help your recipe come out a lot better. And it'll look, it'll look a lot better also. Okay guys, so this is the first batch. This was about 14 minutes. This is what they look like. I want them to look light in color, not very thick. As you can see, a very thin cookie. And I'm going to remove them from this baking sheet and place them on this cooling rack. Okay guys, so we're gonna get started making the royal icing. Now that's really, really easy. You're gonna see how easy it is when I do it. But before I get started, I wanna tell you what I'm going to be using. And just to throw in a little note, a lot of the items I'm going to be using to make the royal icing, you can get them from the Dollar Tree. So for example, I'm going to be using some measuring spoons. And these you can find at the Dollar Tree. I'm going to use a fork. I'm going to be using a rubber scraper or a rubber spatula. I'm going to be using that just to scrape the bowl a little bit. Um, also, for the food items, I'm going to be using the confectionery sugar. This is two cups. I'm going to be using a little water to thin out the recipe if need be. And again, you can pick up cups measuring cups from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to be using this plastic baggie as a piping bag. I'm going to be using a glass. I'm going to show you how to put the, the baggie inside the glass so that you can fill it up with the icing. Okay guys, I don't know if I mentioned earlier, but the eggs that we're going to be using are the whites of the egg. And I've already removed the yolk from my egg. So I'm going to just continue. I'm going to take the two cups of confectionery sugar and I'm just going to add it to the egg. This is the way I usually do it. I don't know if I'm adding anything out of order, but this is the way I usually do it. And I'm just going to start just kind of blending that in, letting it get wet. And then I'm going to add the lemon juice, two tablespoons of lemon juice. So 
For right now, I'm going to be adding the two tablespoons of lemon juice, and I've already squeezed my lemon. You definitely can use your blender if you have a blender. I don't feel like cleaning up anything too much after I make this icing. The icing is so simple. As you can see, it's coming together. Coming together, it looks beautiful already. And I'm just going to just blend this with my hand. This is my icing, nice and thick, just the way I want it. Really good for piping or edging. I'm gonna put some icing in here. So I'm going to be changing the color of a small portion of the icing. And I'm not gonna use food coloring today. I'm going to be using the Wilton Orange Decorating Icing. A little bit of that in here. Getting a nice light sherbet orange color. And I'm going to be adding a little bit more. So I'm just gonna put this over to the side. And now I'm going to show you how I'm going to put the icing in this plastic bag. So I'm going to just push this inside just like that and then fold the edge over the top of the glass and make sure you can get your hand in there because you want to try to get the frosting in um, towards the bottom of the bag and the bottom of the bag is right here so now we're going to just take Bag, kind of coax it down to the corner just like that don't forget to seal your bag so that your icing doesn't come out and I'm just going to just set it just like this as you can see it already looks like a piping bag I'm going to snip the end off you just want to snip off enough just to get your icing to come out so right now I am beginning to outline the cookie or in bakery terms it's called piping so I'm going to pipe around the outer edge of the cookie so that I can start my design and I like to go over it twice a lot of times because I'm not a professional but you know I do like a thicker line so I'll just circle around once or twice just to give it the look that I'm looking for so right now I'm going to use the Wilton sparkle gel in black and I'm going to start creating my design I like the sparkle gel because first of all the tip is very very small and you can basically write either very thin or thick with it. The gel tastes really good and it's sparkly also. So these designs I'm going to make for you are not complicated. They are very very simple. Here's another cookie and all I'm going to do with this one is just start writing in the word boo. B O O. It's a scary word for Halloween. <laughs> Piping or filling in your cookie with a design or a word, it really just makes it look a little bit more festive. And I really like doing uh, that. Uh, now, this is the Wilton Sparkle Gel. This is a light green color. And I'm just writing R I P, rest in peace. Just keeping it fun, not too scary. Here I'm taking the black, black sparkle gel and I'm just going to edge out the face of the skeleton or the outline of the skeleton. And I'm just sticking the nozzle through the stencil and just, and I'm gonna fill it in as I go along. So right now I just filled in all the parts that were big and now I'm just going to just fill in the face and just give it a little bit more dimension
guys, you know what? You can just make any design that you like. Just fill it in any, any way you want. You can use any kind of fillings or gels. You can use fruit. You can use candy. Just keep it fun and um, have a great time for Halloween. So guys, here is the finished product. And this was really quick and it was really easy. I do recommend that if you're going to make cookies using the royal icing recipe, that you once you decorate your cookies with the royal icing, you let it dry for between 12 and 24 hours. Uh, thank you again so much for joining me. I appreciate it. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, please, please leave them below. I'd be very happy to answer them as soon as I can. And I will be coming back to you with another cooking video. And uh, guys, please subscribe if you haven't already done so and thumbs up this video. I'd greatly appreciate it. Take care and be well, and I'll see you at the next video. Bye-bye.